Virginia Work segment, we are joined by Linda McNuff Foster, the CEO of Cortex Leadership Consulting, as we honor an inspiring leader here in the Roanoke Valley. Linda, thank you so much for joining us this morning and introduce us to our inspiring leader here. It is an honor and a privilege to be able to recognize Joy Sylvester Johnson. She's the CEO of the Rescue Missions. And we talk a lot on this show about what characteristics make up great leaders and especially serving leaders. But there's very few leaders I can think of that have literally spent their lives living with the people that they help. And so she is the embodiment of someone who has passion and perseverance. Um, and so I am, I am so privileged to be here with Joy this morning and to be able to recognize her. And Joy, what does it feel? How does it feel for you to be our inspiring leader for December? Well, I wondered about that when I, I thought about this segment and I thought, you know, leadership is a pretty value-free term. You can be a wonderful leader, you can be a leader for terrible things. And so leadership in and of itself doesn't really say a whole lot. But leadership for something that matters, something that lifts the whole community up, that that's something that I, I'm really invested in. Um, I, my daughter, uh, two years ago, I was honored for a leadership thing with my alma mater, and, and my daughter said, you know, thank goodness, Mom, that that you're a Christian and that you you try to do what God wants you to do because you're the kind of person that could get people to drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And, so um, true. And I thought about that, that thank God um, that, that I do have a vision to try to make things better for the whole community because this talent that I've been given, I, I don't claim any credit for it at all, toss me into a pot and I will I will bubble to the top and people will follow me and I don't know why I don't know how because it's not something that I generate but um, I think the vision the the desire to make things better is a, a direct gift from God and so if that's what this is about honoring God then I'm all for it <laughs> And now, your last day at the mission, correct me if I'm wrong, is this Friday, the 23rd. This Friday, mm -hmm. December 23rd, will be my last day as the CEO of the Rescue Mission. And, you know, Becky did a great piece to share your story. So we have that online, of course, VirginiaFirst.com, under Virginia yeah. at Work. Tell us, you know, how are you feeling heading into your last day? Well, I, I think I'm feeling really pretty great. Um, it's, been, um, it's been a wonderful 31 years. I... I can honestly say I've never regretted the decision to come and stay. Um, it has been a, it's been a dream job. And more than that, it's been a dream life because it really is a lifestyle more than a job. And I'm, I'm seeing there's a lot of people here. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm I'm surprised surprised that we'll explain. <laughs> Mander, you guys going to keep me a secret. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you, if yeah. anybody knows Joy, she, she can't be surprised. She has way too much intuition. But today is the day. Is it? Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, oh. God. We, brought, we have her son, Anders, which is also leaving us at the rescue mission, which is bittersweet um, as he goes on. And we have so many other people who have served. Helen, who's Tracy. our chief. Um, program officer Susan Honeyka, who's on our board and the assistant treasurer, Kim Gambala, our chief information officer, Helen Dyerly, who was our HR person and is now one I call her Miss Alanon uh, <laughs> Excellence, and Tracy Altizer, our chief development officer, and Linda, who is a uh, member of our board and has recently been elected as our vice president. So, oh, yeah. So, a lot of people are really by going people to I love. <laughs> And I think there are quite a few people who love you. I think it's safe to say that as well. Really making a difference. We do. I'm surprised. We don't, we had to do a birthday party for a couple of years ago, and the only way we got to surprise her was we did it two months early. <laughs> <laughs> you surprised Joy. They, they wanted to just talk about Joy as a leader and two of the things that really stick out to, to me and I talked with the others here is she's taught me two things. Number one, if you're a leader you don't have to tell people you're a leader. That when the time comes to lead people will know that that's who you are. And the other thing is if you're a good leader and the Roanoke Valley knows that Joy Sylvester Johnson is a good leader, that when you leave everything will be okay. And things are going to be different, but we've had great leadership, and she's taught us well, so everything's going to be okay. So great to have you. Inspiring leader for December, Linda, always bringing joy into the studio. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And today that can be said honestly. <laughs>
Everyone, good day, Virginia. We'll be back in two minutes.